all right members this video is for you dedicated i'm making this video for you i thought i'll make a video in which i will demonstrate how to use modules or classes in microsoft access this is one of the best technique that i've learned and i really like it uh, and i thought i'll share with you all that how to use modules or classes or functions to actually uh, perform the tasks such as crud operation uh, or patching the information or uh, and, and it's very very handy functionality that uh, in microsoft access and other languages i also i think uh, they provide as well so this video initially is dedicated for you maybe if you will allow and let me know in the comments if you allow i can publish this video to the general public after like 20 days or 25 days something like that if you'll allow because you are the member so you have to you know tell me in the comments that yes i can publish it to the general public and uh, i think they can also get benefited but first it is for you now what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a vba code and i'm going to write a code with the record sets we are going to create the record and we are going to transfer it from this form to the table and this is a little form you know this is continuous form on the header we have four unbound boxes and we have create button and update button as well so first i will show you the way you know regular way of doing the vba records using the vba record set and creating the information then we will create a module class and we will use that uh, to create the record all right so we'll go to the design view and we will now uh, actually click on we can see that these are the four text boxes with the txt txt uh, names and this is the uh, continuous form uh, uh, in the tabular view so we'll click on create button we'll go to the event tab dot 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 and code builder and in here we will provide uh, we will start creating the variables so we'll say dim rs create create as a record set all right and then we'll say uh, set rs create equals current db dot open record set from c open and we'll give the name of the record set which is basically the table okay so product prod all right and that's it and then we'll say rs create dot add new and rs create dot date okay so we'll give three lines of code in here to update this uh, three text boxes information uh, to trans transfer it to the table because the product ID itself actually should be hit. Uh, it should be locked out because uh, we don't want user to provide a, a user uh, the product ID from their side. So it has to be automatic. Okay, now let's provide the information. So for that, I usually like to go to uh, the table and I like to actually. Um, I use this copy and paste function so we'll say rs create and the product name equals me dot txt product name all right then the next one we have cost price so rs create as question mark cost price oh cost sorry or cost price cost price equals me dot cost price then we have rsp so rs create exclamation mark rsp equals me dot txt rsp or sales price okay i have to be very careful i don't want to use the incorrect name otherwise we will get an error okay right? all right so with this three line of code the data will be transferred from the form to the table but once the product id gets updated or created I want to patch that and I want to populate that onto this TXT product ID uh, text box. So to do that, I will be using the dmax function in access. So I'll say me.txt product ID equals um, dmax and print C open. And it is asking, uh, what are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for product ID. And what's the domain? Domain basically is the name of the table or query but we are looking at the tables here so we'll give the table name once that is done we will throw a message box for the confirmation to the user saying that you know the product has been created and we will say 
in fact, before that, I would like to requery this form itself. So whatever product we have created, that gets updated in the continuous form here. So to do that, I will simply say me dot requery. Okay. And now I can throw a message box. I'll say do cmd dot b message box, uh, the product. And we can actually give the name of the product just to make a little bit more fancier message box. So we'll say me.txt product name has been created. Dot okay, comma we be information, comma information. And uh, then what we are going to do is we are going to clear out these text boxes also so we can add new record. So let's say me.txt product ID equals double quote, double quote, me.txt product name. And oops, sorry, me.txt product name equals double quote, double quote, me.txt cost price equals double quote, double quote, me. Dot, so double quote, double quote is to clear out the text boxes. Me.txt uh, sale price equals double quote, double quote. All right. So we'll clear out the text box. We will debug it. No error. There's nothing error at right now. So let's test it out whether this works or not. We'll go to the form view, and in here we'll provide the product name. So let's say we'll say HP AMD Ryzen laptop, something like that. I'm just creating dummy information. Cost price, let's say six hundred dollars, and the sale price is eight hundred dollars. So let's create, and you can see that what happens is. What happened is the uh, product HP AMD Ryzen laptop has been created. So that's very nice message box. And you can see that the uh, the country's form also get updated with whatever record we have created. And the uh, the text boxes has been cleared out. So that's really nice. I, I would also like to do is I would, I would also like to get rid of this new record empty line. So we'll go to a design view. And we'll go to the data tab in the uh, property sheet of the form and we'll say allow addition to no. And now, if we will open the form, we should not see that empty grayed out line, etc. Now, you've seen until this, I'm sure you must have seen me uh, using the record set a million times if you have seen my videos. And by the way, you have seen that's why you are a member. So, thank you so much for being a member, also. By the way, now what if i tell you if i go to design view go to create button even tab what if i tell you that instead of all of these you write one line of code here and that's it right and that's it but of course you have to uh, transfer this code somewhere else and that's where the classes or modules comes in where you can it's like a repository of the code and you use the or reuse the repository wherever you wish to do so and i really like that functionality and i think this makes not only the application more efficient i believe that's my belief i may be wrong but also the code looks really clean all right so what i would like to do is i would like to first create a module so i'll go to create and i'll click on module and i will save it so control s and now it will ask me the name of the module and generally what i like to do is i would like to call global mod mod is short term of or short name of module so we'll save that and if i close it you can see that the global mod is under the modules now this is where we can use the global mod uh, module and we can create the functions or classes within that model which we can reuse whenever we want to so what i would like to do is i would like to click on create button dot 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 and i would like to get uh, i would like to get all of this control x so we delete everything we close it and we go to uh, global mod and now we create a function and we'll say public function all right so public function and for every public function and remember you have to give public function so the reason you give public function is that you can use this function anywhere that you wish to within your application now this is just one simple example but trust me there are situations where you can write a code once and then you can reuse that code in multiple forms. I have used that personally. And so that's why I'm saying the functions are really good. You can create functions and you can reuse them wherever you wish to do so. And these are like 
your customized functions all right so public function and you have to give a name to it. and remember for each function you can create a lot of functions within one module but you have to give the name separately you can't have one name for each function all right so we'll give a name and this function is used to create product so i'll say public function create products all right and that's it and within this i will paste whatever i have done the control x there i will paste the code here now we have to do a little bit of modification and that modification is basically uh in referring to the text boxes because remember we use me dot and me dot name of the text box because we were earlier using the code behind the form itself that's why we gave me but now the code is not residing behind the form it's empty right okay so we'll go to the global mod and in here we'll give a reference of forms as question mark and the form name is product f i think that's the name product f so as question mark yeah so that's what we have to give and you know we can all right i think i have so this just be careful that you don't um you know cut out the name of the text boxes otherwise it will give you an error, an error in here also and all right that's fine and here as well okay this will be dot and here okay see i'm cutting the t so here okay and these as well oops come on why are you cutting t okay and there you go see, i hope you're getting now we have written this code uh, actually we have copied and pasted and we have modified the code because of the requirement now how do we use this code that's the bigger question right so now let's close this module and we'll go to the create button even tab dot 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 code builder and in here you just write one line of code and that would be call and remember you're calling and from where you're calling global mod that's the name of the module dot once you press dot whatever functions you have created whatever classes you have created i think they are also called classes please i don't know whether because i have not studied this coding i've not studied access or something so sometime i maybe use my own understanding while explaining so if they are called classes or function just function or classes i don't know but what i know is whatever i've written it worked okay that's what i know that's what i'm i'm demonstrating so i use the function that i've just created so just one line of code debug it save it and now let's test it out whether this actually works or not so we'll go ahead and we'll create another product and this time we will create a product let's say lenovo amd ryzen laptop okay so the cost price is let's say 560 dollars sale price is let's say uh, 780 dollars so big competition between lenovo and hp all right i'm uh, just making it up so just let's click on create so if our module our function works then the record should be created it should actually perform the similar function that we have seen before as well so let's click create and you can see that the product Lenovo MD Ryzen has been created. We have seen that the record is added, the form is refreshed, and it's exactly it works exactly the same. Now, as I said, you might not understand or you might not uh, appreciate that uh, this example particularly because it is just one example for one particular form. But trust me, there are situations, there are scenarios. For example, you have uh, a list box in many forms where you have to repeatedly uh, showcase the same information you just write that code once and you use that code in lots of uh, list boxes in various different forms just by calling the global mod i hope that it was useful i hope that you have learned something and um, i hope that uh, you know uh, you like it if you like it you didn't like it just let me know in the comments below uh, but thank you so much for being member. Thank you so much for watching. And if you allow, I will release this video after 20-25 days to the general public so they can also 
learn about this as well. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.